Hello everyone, welcome to Phasmophobia. Today, we're heading into Point Hope on Professional. So, I mentioned this before, but I'm trying to go into Point Hope once a week because it's still a new map and I really haven't played it nearly as much as the other maps now. Did I just hear something? I hear the ocean. Oh my god. <laughs> yep, okay, see, this is why I want to play Point Hope because I've not had any kind of, like, entrance ghost really. Okay, EMF 5. I wanted to talk about, can I flush this? Yes, of course I can. I kind of wanted to talk about how people's reception was of this map. So let's leave the ghost there. Oh god, that's locked. I'm going to actually go to the breaker. This looks like a hiding spot. Now that's a hiding spot. Now really, I just want to see if that right there was a hiding spot, which it is. So this one looks like the one I'm going to be going to. And also, I got lucky. The breaker is right here. So the only, only other thing I could do to go look for the cursed item, which doesn't look like it's the mirror. All right, I'm gonna, while I wanted to talk about Point Hope, I'm gonna look for the cursed item. So I, all I really wanted to say was, I've kind of been hearing about uh, the reception of this map, and really, people either don't like this map, or they're just kind of like, whatever. And I was kind of hoping this map would come out and maybe like save the game a little bit, but really, I feel like this map came out and then people just kind of forgot about the game again. So, I think right now the developers are just focusing super on, you know, the uh, console. So, once we get console, and then, you know, updates will be both for console and PC. <clears throat> Let's see, is that open? I guess it is if I need to. Now, maybe it was the tarot cards that I just missed it. But either way, I got to look for <laughs> the cursed item somewhere around here. But yeah, so my opinion of this map is, I do like it. But the worst part is definitely this endless feeling staircase. It feels like the Mario 64 staircase when you're just going up and down forever. And never, even though you're changing rooms, it feels like you're not even going anywhere. It feels like you're just going through a portal. But I do feel like <clears throat> the map would be a little bit better if it was just a medium map and you did get rewarded for it. Because with this staircase, it is designed to be a very hard, difficult map to survive on. And because it's so tall, it really doesn't feel like a medium map. Now, did you turn breaker off? No. Let me turn these lights on. So, yeah, I still just want to have some more experiences on here. And, of course, oh, I don't know what the uh, item is then. I must have really missed it. It doesn't matter, because, I mean, if I need to use it, I'll use it later. <laughs> now, I've never had a ghost in here. I guess you're in the bathroom? Now, we did immediately get EMF 5, so we have kind of an idea here. It could be a Raiju. So, uh, who is this? Eva Gacy. Eva, are you here? Hmm, that, hmm, someone locked the shower. So not that I even want to hide in any of these spots. Getting up the staircase should be easy. I've kind of mentioned this before, but if you crouch, you can break line of sight when going up the stairs. So the ghost won't see me going up the stairs here, and then I can run over to my hiding spot if I can get away. Well, you did one thing. Now you're not doing anything. Does that mean you're a shade again? Oh, there's a two. That looks like the door. Maybe not though. <laughs> nah, I bet it is. Okay, I'm gonna take a photo of this and see. All right, maybe I'll go get the EMF or maybe I'll go see what this is. I was gonna get UV actually. This is my EMF. All right, first dirty water on point home. Also just keep getting photos of this door. Also, that was interaction, and then we get dirty water. I forget, we also get an interaction photo for this. Alright, hey, we got some photos at least coming in here. Oh, and the EMF-5, which, uh, we got multiple of them. Alright, I'm gonna go get some more equipment. Actually, let me maybe set this up right here or something. I've been trying to use that as, like, a spotlight now that I have my headlamp. So, oh god. And the fogginess, I can, like, see the tree line through the fog. Alright, well, sanity is still a little low. Actually, compared, well, I did walk around in this point, Hope, so I'm sure that sanity drain was just for me going through the different floors. So I do, I need to go find what that cursed item was, but either way, uh, I'm going to worry about these later on. Maybe I can get a photo of the ghost, but let's try and talk to the ghost. It's not really been cold. I want to get this in here, then maybe we'll see if we get dots. I like bringing in different equipment every time just to change the order of which we might get something. I do like how you can kind of see in there, though. So that was something about Point Hope. This, that's why, like, this map is really cool and how detailed it is and everything. But I just feel like, yeah, the layout and kind of being really repetitive with the floors kind of hurt this map. So I think when we get the Bleasdale and the Grafton we reworks, 
we will really enjoy it. Like the new, uh, you know, detail and all the stuff. Like, let me walk in here. Just, like, all the things that can be thrown and all the little unique things that start out of place. That's what, like, we're gonna expect to see out of the Bleasdale rework. So, as cool as this map was to bring in, like, all the new detail in the game, it unfortunately didn't really, I don't know, stick around in a lot of people's minds, I don't think. Okay, you touched this again. And I see that. Is that an event? Yes. Okay, we got the UV. Hmm, Gorio. Are we gonna get Gorio dots? Let me drop that for now. Maybe I'll move this over here. I don't really need it. Now, is that fingerprints or the interaction? <laughs> it's the fingerprint. Let me turn this off. I don't know why I just left that on the whole time. Okay, now we do the spirit box. Are you here? Make this easy on me. Just talk to me. Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? Okay, maybe you're... Oh, whoa. Was that... This door? Are you here? I think it was that door. Alright, I'm gonna leave the spirit box for now. Ooh. Could be Obake, because I touched... What was that? Okay, that... Was it like the toilet paper? Oh, maybe it was. I've never heard some of these sounds. Oh, maybe the EMF would help too. No? Okay, where are you taking me, EMF? Well, the first thing he threw was something over here. Maybe it was that boot. Now you're throwing stuff back in here. Maybe now you are moving that toilet paper. Okay, I don't like the fact I'm in the dark. So I think it's Obake right now because it touched a door. Is it touching this door? I wish I knew. Maybe it's not. It touched one of the doors over here, and I thought it didn't leave fingerprints, but maybe it just touched this door. I don't even know. I mean, okay, I don't want to, like... I mean, I can delete one if this is not the interaction photo. Well, I'm getting photos. I mean, it has not been dots yet, so... Maybe I can set up a camera for the Goryo dots. I'm gonna have to do that, aren't I? See, this is why I'm playing Point Hope, though, because I've really not gotten any first-floor ghosts, especially, like, this bathroom, so this is a super cool thing for me. The map's so new, I really haven't had enough time to play a lot of it. So, uh, I don't really want to put down my sanity too much more. I guess we can see if it's freezing in there. Oh, and writing, so yeah, let's just get all the other evidence in there, and then we'll see if it gets... Or, I don't know, we'll see if it hunts me. So I want to set this up, kind of outside. I'm going to do my own... Oh, my. I'm going to do my own searching for ghost orbs. Okay, now you really want to put me down to hunt range. So actually, since we're so close, I'm going to go back and get a smudge and maybe, I don't know, a crucifix or something to give me a little bit more time. Yeah, I want my sanity to drain a bit more so. And also it would be good photos. So let's just put in some crucifixes and see what happens. Yeah, I gotta survive this one a little bit longer, so... This should really cover the main... Oh my god, oh wow! I have no clue what this ghost could be. I mean, it, it put me right at hunt range. I wanna maybe drop that. Oh my god, you didn't write or anything. Open that for me. So is that gonna be the burn fruit crucifix or just the interaction? I wanna, like, fill out these photos. Okay, there we go. So, no bone, but at least we got the photos filled out. I'm not gonna try and go for a perfect game. I just wanna get those photos done. Okay, well, what do I do? Hmm. Can it be spirit box? No, it can't. Okay. Let me check for those ghost orbs, right? So, I can definitely see them, though. It's a little bright, but... Hmm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I would have gotten dots by now. See, that's the problem. Let's go. Oh, at least I got to back out the door there. That's not a hunt. That was an event. What is going on in there? Okay. Oh, you were like trying to make your way to me that whole time. Okay. Uh, let's just go see what sanity we have. See, I don't think getting hunted there is, here is going to tell me much. The breaker is still on, so it might be a gin. Actually, oh man, my sanity. Yeah, let's keep trying to get my sanity low. Uh, I kind of want to smudge to get a photo, but how have we not figured out this ghost? That's, oh, go Goryo Dots. Let me check this. 
Oh, and you close the door. Damn it. So, I didn't really fully get to see if there were ghost orbs in there, but... Okay, maybe... Mm, oh, I don't... Uh, let's get the other dots. Maybe the other writing. And then... I'm gonna just try and use my one smudge up, and also that other crucifix. Oh my god. Every time I come over here, I swear I hear something. So what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna uh, open this. That was awesome, the shadow. Okay, part of me wants to step outside again. Turn on these lights. You just wrote, so <laughs> actually, let me run outside and just make sure it's a miling. Okay, I'm not even gonna try to figure out the miling and the sounds this time. Now, was the paranormal sound an objective this time? No, just capture photo. Okay, well, my sanity is low enough. Let, <clears throat> let me go take some sanity. I'm gonna go look for that mm, cursed item that I missed. And then, I don't know, we'll have another final showdown with this ghost, I guess. Try and get a photo. I don't have to go for this photo. I mean, I really could leave, but I want to see what this cursed item was. So it's not a gin. I was thinking it could have been, because it never turned the breaker off. But this is a pretty active ghost. And this bathroom is a fun little room. It's really small if this gets closed off. But the ghost just hangs out in here and then roams out here, so... <clears throat> Wow, okay, hmm. I, I guess that was from the... event or... I was gonna say, there's no... This ghost is so much cooler than the last one. So... It wasn't the tarot cards. Let me just run up here. I wouldn't be surprised if this ghost somehow hunted me. I took two pills, which is 60, so maybe I'm still kind of in hunt range. But it's a miling, so... I, don't, I think that's just normal 50% range. Now, what item could I have missed here? I know it wasn't the- oh. <laughs> okay, well I could have gotten a perfect game. At least I get the bone. Somehow I missed that big rib cage the first time I was up here. I don't- oh, okay. Ha. <laughs> this is the one room I didn't go into. So yeah, the summoning circle is in the bathroom. I tried to remember, is there one in here? But uh, yeah, that's the summoning circle. Guess what? I just- okay, we'll see. Look, this is why I'm trying to learn this game. So, I forget, when you you have to ha now have a slot in here for the photo of the ghost, and this is something I still just have not figured out, so guess what, I can't even get this one. That's something I just need to remember. But it's funny that we got this, which is easy for the objective, but I forgot. But hey, if you didn't know that, just try and remember that if you have the objective for getting a ghost photo, you have to get the ghost photo in the book now. And it wasn't like that for the longest time, and then they said they changed it, and then it still wasn't like that, so I guess I just believe that it's not like that now. So I'm going to try and run out of here. Well, actually, I've been on these different floors. I really wonder how much this has drained my sanity. I could go up there and use it for fun. Maybe I will just do that. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do it anyway. Even though I can't do it, let's just kind of prove that I could do it. So I'm going to take full sanity because I don't want the old summoning circle to screw me over. But I'm going to get the photo camera. Then my smudge is up there. Actually, I thought I was going to have to take something back, but I guess I'm not. Yeah, I want to get this hunt just to prove we can do it. And this is really what I should have done from the beginning. But when I was searching at the beginning, I just walked right past that room. Where's my photo cam? Oh, I threw it over here. Okay, I'm going in with two smudges, and I'm not even going to use my big light. And so the light in this room's dead. I guess what I'll do is I'll just keep running down the stairs to this hiding spot. So that means I kind of want the lights on. Did anyone hear that? I heard like a weird moan. This map and all these other maps like Asylum with the creepy noises in the background. Okay, I'm turning on these lights just so I can have a path here. See what I mean with all the creakiness? Okay. So we have full sanity. <laughs> it's always weird here. So this is why now my like number one complaint with this game, now that you can have this lighter, you really need to have proper inventory. Hitting Q to switch just really doesn't do it. Especially since this is like a, well, I was gonna say a PC exclusive game, but soon enough it's not going to be. But it really just sucks now having to cycle through four items. I guess I could live with it before when it was just three and like I could keep track of it. But now that the lighter's in there, it's just way harder to keep track of what's in my inventory. Anyway, I'm done complaining. What I gotta do here is light this. I'm just gonna... S 
switch and then run. Now, I kind of want to see how this will work out for me. Probably not well. I just want to see... Oh my god, okay, you're going to go right down the stairs, aren't you? Well, okay. Nope. I, need, I slowed her down enough just to get down here. Alright, I'm back in my little cubby hole. Now, when this one's over, we're going to be done. See, that's the thing. Even though I got a photo of the ghost, it has to be actually in the book, so that's just something I've never really gotten used to. And even still, the last few times I was getting a photo of the ghost, I think I thought about this, but I just haven't remembered it yet. But yeah, now that I'm going to be playing this game a lot more, hopefully things will start getting ingrained. Like I kind of said, I haven't delved into this game yet, and on this channel, that's what I'm supposed to be doing, is just playing a crap ton of this game, so this is the perfect time to be doing it. Yeah, that was the perfect time for that to go out too. Alright, this was a fun Point Hope game. See, for a small map, you know, Point Hope really shouldn't have been so tall, I don't think. And this map's so much more enjoyable if it doesn't go that far, you know, up into the building. Especially since the breaker was on the second floor there. This was a very enjoyable game. So I guess before we leave, do you want to do anything in here? Give us a sign. You were very active before. I'm going to start, I really want that tier 3 dots, that's another thing that I really want to have fun with this Halloween and this October is the tier 3 equipment, because that was like the biggest update, and I still haven't gotten to have fun with any of that, so I want to go to big maps with like the big dots, and we're going to have so much fun. So, alright, I guess this ghost, once you smudge this one, it doesn't want to do anything. Alright, well we survived Point Hope again, and uh, again, I just like it when pretty much any big map has, you know, a ghost at the f entrance, but... That's why I think this map may be um, just a little too big for a small map. Alright, I don't want to jinx it, but we've been doing pretty good here. I don't, maybe I got this wrong somehow, but no, Miling. Uh, 985? That's, hmm, seems kind of low. I don't know, maybe it's because I didn't do the third objective or something, but I don't know, that seems kind of low. Yeah, but I, I, yeah, I think, <laughs> I really just do think Point Hope should just be moved to medium. And when they make small maps, they could just kind of focus on them actually being pretty small. I mean, I know Point Hope's small for what it is, like the rooms, but between the challenge of surviving the staircase and the fact that it really goes so far up there, like Sunny Meadow's restricted, the distance from the front door all the way to like one of the ends of the wing, I'm pretty sure that's shorter than going from the top to the bottom of the lighthouse. Like that distance, you know, like say if you're at the bottom of the lighthouse and you wanted to go all the way to the top. I'm sure that's longer than Sunny Meadows Restricted, and that's a medium map, so I don't know, it just seems like something's wrong here. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.